for more on G2's impressive win, Laura is standing by with Jankos. Oscar Gurum. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shox. Laura here, joined by Jankos. And Jankos, honestly, this game was night and day compared to what we've seen on Wednesday. Uh, you decided to ban a lot of junglers during the draft. What did you think it was the good solution here? I knew that question was coming. <laughs> so uh, we thought that Broxa uh, is most comfortable with Graves. And we also thought that Team Liquid draft drafts are good around Graves. So we decided to ban that out mm -hmm. and then the rest is history. Like the, the, the rest of the bans were like really random because we didn't really expect them to, I mean, go for five with jungle. We thought they would pick Lee in two, three or one on one, mm -hmm. two, three, like at some point, but they didn't. And apparently coaching staff said that he played these champs in solo queue. So we just banned the champs that we did. And then we just kind of went with it. That, that makes sense. But honestly, I'm just poking you here because you had an amazing early game. And to think about what you said the other day uh, during our longer interview, uh, I remember we talked about the volley bear pick, the fact that you didn't find your marks within the meta here. So you went for the volley bear. You've been very proactive in the early game, helping out your lanes. Uh, what is necessary to play like this as a jungler at Worlds? Uh, well, I don't think it's like a correct way of help uh, playing the game. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, we saw Machi do it too, and I believe that you can get some advantages early game, but against a lot of farm junglers, you will just get out farmed. I think that the matchup against Hekarim makes sense because you can pressure him early game, like which I did, right? Just went to his jungle straight away, and then he couldn't really farm, and that way I didn't fall behind. But let's say you pick it against Nidali Graves or Lilia, you would probably just fall like really, really behind in farm. But we kind of knew that he doesn't play Nidali, and then we kind of also knew that we are banning Graves, and then Lilia probably wouldn't play it, but we also decided to ban it. So the volleyball is a flex pick, and then we decided to put the jungle. I think it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, I also felt like I wanted to play it very, very safe against Team Liquid, because I felt like if we play the old style, we will never lose to that team. And we did kind of play the old style, where I could focus on helping lanes, and they could focus on like playing their game, which is like how we look the strongest, right, when I can help them early. Um, and then I think the most important part was we didn't actually lose level one, which happens to us like every single game almost, like either lose level one or level two. So I'm very happy that uh, we could like go past three minutes in game. And then I kind of knew the game is the game is over when we went past three minutes without like mm -hmm. dying or losing a camp. I agree with you. And I'm very happy you mentioned level one. This is something we will, we will be looking out for G2 later today during Young Games. But for now, thank you very much, Jankos, for the interview and good luck for the next games. Thank you very much. And we're going to take a short break and we'll come back in a few minutes for Suning versus Machi Esports. Stay tuned.